everybody, Happy New Year. My name is Judy Ko, and I'm happy to be able to share with you today how to make rose red date cookies something attractive and uh, meaningful to make for the loved ones, for your family, for this coming uh, Chinese New Year. Now first, the ingredients. Now the ingredients for the dough, I'm first going to show you how to make it. Now what we need here is some flour. Okay, you don't really have to sieve the flour, but uh, okay. And here I've got some icing sugar and a little bit of salt, milk powder, egg yolks. Okay, the egg yolks gives it a nice rich color and Fonterra Anchor Milk Butter. All right, now this butter is slightly softened as you can see it has been left in uh, outside the refrigerator for a while so that it's spreadable and it's soft but not melted now I like to use anchor butter because first it's got um, it's been around since the 1800s and the butter is made from uh, cows from the cow's milk that uh, cows that uh, graze freely eating grass in New Zealand and that's why you notice that the butter is slightly yellowish because of the chlorophyll uh, found in the grass all right so some softened butter here now what I'm going to do is to just put the anchor butter into my dough into the uh, ingredients for the dough over here and what you do is just simply mix all the ingredients with your hands of course if you are doing more you can use a machine use a paddle to just mix it until the dough comes together so if you take a look at it the softened butter helps to bind the flour, flour so that it becomes a soft and pliable dough all right so you don't even need a machine for this just uh, your hands and just press the ingredients together so that it comes together now obviously you can see the beautiful uh, naturally creamy yellow color of the butter adds not only just flavor uh, to your dough but it also gives a, a nice creamy color to the dough as well okay so we mix now for the Chinese New Year some colors are considered auspicious take for example pink red and uh, all things that are bright and beautiful we like to use it for our dough so if you like you can put a little bit of edible pink color into the dough so i'm going to add just a little bit now how much you place into your dough all depends on your preference so if you like it darker or lighter you can just uh, put more or less as you wish uh, although in the I recommend a certain amount in the recipe uh, that's really also dependent on the kind of uh, coloring that you use okay if it's very thick you probably need a little bit lesser um, if you want it to be brighter of course uh, a little bit color will do the job all right so now this is light pink but i'm going to just mix it so remember for the anchor butter just take it out of the fridge uh, several hours before you make this dough let it sit on the counter it's soft but not melted okay so there we have this and all right you can also put a little bit more if i want it to be brighter okay so um the color does darken just a little bit all right when you uh, bake them all right so that my dough is now turned into a dough like this all right and if time permits you can set it aside for about 10-15 minutes before using just simply cover set aside um, the, to uh, rest so that the dough becomes a little bit uh, softer and uh, but not uh, melted of course all right so and in the meantime okay i am going to prepare the filling 
The filling is also very simple to do. What I have over here are the following ingredients. Now we have some red dates, chopped red dates, all right, chopped red dates, and we have um, okay red dates uh, for the Chinese uh, during uh, the New Year represents uh, wealth and prosperity. And my grandmother used to tell me when I was little to eat more red dates because if you want to have rosy cheeks, uh, the red dates will give add some color to our beautiful faces. So I've got some chopped red dates over here. Now to give it a little bit of crunch, I also add some toasted peanuts. Now this, the peanuts you can get it from, you can buy them already toasted uh, in, in Singapore at the Tiong Bahru market by our school, Creative Culinary. Uh, they do sell these peanuts already toasted and ground for us. So I mix the peanuts. Now, should you prefer to use all peanuts? Uh, it's also possible for the red dates. Instead of putting red dates, you can replace with the same amount with toasted peanuts. It's really up to you. But since uh, Chinese New Year is around the corner, adding red dates to your cookie will serve as an uh, interesting talking point. All right, so I've got red dates, peanuts, a little bit of icing sugar and of course some softened anchor butter to act like a, as a binder and to improve the flavor of the filling so i've got my softened butter over here so in the same way i'm going to just mix my uh, ingredients together now for the red dates you just simply remove the seed from the red dates chop it up or you can also use a food processor and if you prefer all red dates that's also fine but I find that adding a little bit of peanuts will give a nice crunch to the filling alright so just simply mix in this manner like this and then I will divide the filling into 8 grams per piece okay so take a little bit of time to divide it into 8 grams per piece uh, so this is our feeling is easy to make right even at the last minute when you have run out of pineapple tarts and all that you can we, uh, come up with this uh, quite easily so we, di we divide this into 8 grams all right here I've got some also done earlier so I divide the 8 grams like this okay place it on the plate or a tray of course okay just simply round it um, another easy way is to actually use a teaspoon and uh, to make it all about the same standard size is also possible if not you can also weigh it out now um, of course this can be subjected to uh, I mean if you prefer you can also take for example add uh, a drop or two of rose flavor into the filling if you like so I've got uh, or essential rose essential oil that will also do the trick so if you want just a few drops of uh, rose essence into it okay uh, you can also do the same thing for the dough uh, so that you know this new year when you have this in your home you've got something delicious and uh, and it's a nice fragrance just a drop or two of rose essence okay so etc etc so i'm going to now go back to the dough which has rested for a little while um, as mentioned you can add just a couple of drops of uh, rose essence to your dough and then you divide it into 10 grams so the uh, the dough is 10 grams and the filling is 8 grams all right so I some like this 8 grams okay and I've already prepared ahead of time some dough that has been divided to save us some time so I'm going to just okay leave the rest aside while I proceed with the demonstration okay okay over here I've got uh, some flour for dusting you can just use plain flour for dusting and I have this pair of pincers 
which you might be able to get at those uh, shops um, uh, selling uh, bowls and all that. Actually, this um, this pair of pincers is useful because I can use it to create the design now. All right, let's get the camera closer to me so you can see how this is done at close proximity. Now, this is my dough. So what I do is that I flatten the dough like this, okay? And I'm going to put the filling into here, okay? So just simply press it together like this. So it's really quite simple. Just seal it like this and then turn it over, smoothen the top, okay? So just smoothen the top like this and all right? Use a pair of these pincers, dip it in some um, flour and just simply clip it like this. The first set of clipping, you got to do it into, make it into like a triangle, okay? Be careful, uh, control the strength so that, you know, you, you don't um, accidentally pick the dough away, which might happen. If that happens, don't worry, life goes on, just put it back. Okay, and you see we clip it like this in a circular movement, okay? Uh, go around like the petals of a, of a rose. Now, what you do is you just simply clip it in between like this, okay? So that, uh, all right, for the petals, just go behind and just clip it, okay? All right, and once it's done, I'm going to place it onto the tray like this. Okay, a non-stick tray or a tray that I've already lined with uh, my silk pad. Okay, I'll do one more. Alright, in this manner. Okay, take a piece, turn it over, the smooth side down. Flatten with your uh, palm and then your fingers. Take a piece of the red bit filling and just simply sort of carefully seal it. Alright. Um, Okay, all right, so just sort of make it round again, all right, so dip the pincers like this. Now, the first step will be to create a triangle like this, okay, three sides of a triangle, that's the center part of your rows, and then between two of these petals, you create one more here, another here, another here, another here and life goes round okay like this so it goes this way this way this way this way this way all right so that's quite simple all right and we place it in here uh, on on the tray and we bake this uh, in a preheated oven at 170 degrees for about 10 minutes and uh, sometimes when the oven gets too hot all right, it might expand and crack, but don't worry, just simply take it out, let it rest for a little while and continue to bake it. Um, when the base of the uh, cookie is light brown, uh, it's considered cooked. But anyway, the dough is very thin, so and it has some milk in the mouth quality, so I place it in the oven and I'm going to just bake it. All right? Now, I have actually pre-made some of these uh, beautiful rose cookies uh, ahead of time and after baking when it's still hot it's quite delicate so let it cool completely before you transfer using an offset spatula transfer onto a plate all right as I said the dough has a melt in the mouth quality and this is how the end product looks like don't you think they look beautiful all right, so I've decorated it with some handmade uh, chocolate leaves, but uh, the main thing is, of course, um, the rose cookie. And uh, this would be uh, uh, this would be something you could serve to your friends and loved ones uh, to bring cheer and wishing everyone good health, prosperity, and a blessed Chinese New Year. Thank you.